Hello everyone, this is Christine Allward from createandstamp.com in my studio in Upper Ten Talent and I'm coming to you to show you um, just a quick uh, walk through the four cards that um, you're going to make for the Stamper Stack. So the Stamper Stack is, uh, for the Stamper Stack I'm using these four colors, Soft Succulent, Evening Evergreen, Cherry Cobbler, and Real Red. The stamp set I'm using is the Christmas to Remember and the Christmas Seasons. And I die cut uh, this label from the Tasteful Labels dies. And you are going to die cut um, the two holly tree, uh, holly leaves, and uh, the berries, and one of the twigs. And for your labels, I die cut. I used this, this, and the large one. So this will be in your set, um, in your sets that you are getting. And uh, I'm gonna start off right away. Let me just get that out of the way. I'm not going to stamp other than uh, what you'll see. Uh, let me show you. So this is the card, the first card. And the, the whole process is quite simple. Um, this is in your package. You will have three of what I show, what I have here. So you will have your card base, which is real red card base. You, this is for the inside, where you will stamp um, um, your message on the inside. I used the season's greetings. Then I have two pieces. One is evening evergreen, and you layer your uh, designer series paper on there so that you can do first. So glue that on. And once that's on, you wrap your uh, ribbon around. Mine is a little short. I uh, I didn't have enough left. So uh, all you do is you wrap it around. You can either uh, make a bow. Yours is long enough to make a bow. Mine is not long enough for a bow. So I would just use it uh, and make a, um, uh, a knot. And then you stamp your greeting on there. And then stick that on with dimensionals at the top and bottom. The dimensionals will hold your your bow in in place. Then turn it around, apply glue, and uh, glue it to the card front. Then in your kit, um, you have these little um, these little. Uh, there's 30 of them, little holly holly leaves. There are two sizes: the small one and the large ones. So uh, I just put two of the holly leaves and glued them down here. Uh, these were the holly leaves. I um, these I glued down. Some uh, if they are on the edge, I just used a um, glue dot for them. Okay, so that's card number one, and you do that uh, obviously three times. So what I suggest is. You put the DSB and uh, layer one together, do the wrapping around and set it aside. Do that for all three, then do all the stamping on the tags, stamp the inside. When you're done with that, glue the inside in, glue the front on, and then attach your tag with um, dimensionals and then finish it off with your little uh, leaves. Okay, that's for card number one. This is card number two. Card number two is uh, white. So it's a thick basic white. And uh, again, you have a green layer and your um, a designer series paper. Just uh, ad adhere that. And you can, it, uh, you need your uh, bow, <laughs> your ribbon. So you you turn, you put your ribbon around. You can either do the fake ribbon, which is just cut off a piece and and put it on like that, and then make your little bow, and glue the and and attach the bow 
to the front of the card. You can do that. Or you can wrap it around and tie a bow like I did here. Okay, then you will adhere the whole panel with the bow to the front of your card. And then this is uh, stamped in um, cherry cobbler. So just stamp that on here, pop it up on three dimensionals and put it to the front of your card. So that would be like this. And decorate it with uh, wherever you want to have the uh, the leaves. Now these I, I used uh, glue dots and then stamp the inside. That's uh, also in cherry cobbler. So that is your next card. And then we're getting into uh, a little more here. So this is card number three. So card number three is uh, this is a uh, crumb cake crumb cake this is for the inside and you have a strip here so this is a strip of dsp that goes on the inside it is longer than your than your white so make sure you glue it on cut it to length from behind and then attach it okay that's your step number one and obviously you can uh, um, add whatever saying you or greeting you want uh, in inside as well i used for this one i used the um, magics in the air i believe yeah magics in the air so then you adhere these two together so they are five and a half long and uh this is four yeah four by five and a half and this is five and a half and this is three and three quarters and the quarter of the four that's left over is what's going on the inside so you put that on it's flush at the top and bottom glue that down and then you have a tag well, you're going to have a tag for each of your cards and stamp your greeting on there. Pop it up on um, dimensionals. Don't mount it yet. And then you have the strip of um, paper, of uh, white paper that you will use to stamp the leaves. Now, if you don't have this uh, stamp set uh, and you are taking this box to go, then you can still uh, use any uh, holly leaves that you might have at home. And um, if you're doing it in my uh, studio, then obviously you will use my stamp set. And what I have here is the, um, the dies for those leaves. So this is one die and it cuts both leaves out. And then you run it through the die cutter and then you get your leaves they are both so this is just dark right now it's going to get lighter as it dries so they are just um, placed in behind here i don't have any spares here right now do i let me see no so these are going in behind behind your label you, you cut them out you can cut them out with a die cutter or you cut them out by hand goes in behind the label uh, top it up with uh, some gold, pop up the, um, um, put the dimensionals, one, two, three, and leave that free. And there you just use um, like a maybe one and a half inch piece of uh, ribbon that you attach to the back. So do that first uh, with, um, I would use um, a snail attach it just as a short piece and uh like i'm gonna show you how i did that so i just uh obviously we cut that off and then we're gonna do another one so that's all you need so you're just gonna attach these two to the back you can also use uh if you have scotch tape oops uh, tape it on with uh, scotch tape. That works as well. I just lost my cable here. Oops. 
Okay, so if you have scotch tape, put the scotch tape on, obviously after you have uh, stamped, and then pop it up on dimensionals and put it down. And there you have all your decorations on already. Okay, so that was card number three. And we'll put that back in here. And uh, then we have the last one. And the last one is this one. So this opens up like this. It's a tall one. Okay. Again, I gave you extra uh, so you can do the stamping, but you will need this paper. First things first, uh, you fold your cardstock and uh, adhere the, let me just do that right here. Um, adhere the DSP. Okay, then uh, you need a piece of your ribbon that that you can just uh, um, use a little bit of snail and put your ribbon down and then put put another piece here. So that's what I did here. Just goes like this and then trim it. Okay, stamp this in a um, cherry cobbler and pop it on top dimensionals okay then um this is for the inside so i i use the merry christmas on the inside and the friends like you make the season special so this goes on the inside okay let me just fiddle this in here and um actually i'm gonna i need that anyway all right and um and then i'm going to show you so you have this long piece so it's a two and a quarter two and a quarter by um eight and a half piece of white and um you need to for the cards that you have in your in your project kit so you need uh six of these um six of these sprigs okay because there's two sprigs to each card and you have three cards, right? So you need six. Okay. And then you die cut them or you cut them up by hand. So I have this uh, sprig uh, die that will cut those out right and uh, and then you need the um, red and you just do one set of berries two set of berries three set of berries and you die cut that as well So that's that okay you die cut that so you're gonna have your three sets of berries and then you see so what you do is you um or um, i what i did i glued the first one so i i i, I placed this i glued the first one down in behind then i added the gold then i popped one end of it up so this has a dimensional on one side here i hope you can see it so there's a dimensional here under this but i glued the other side onto the tag and the berries i just put a, a glue dot in behind the middle berry and then that that's that's your card so this is what you need you stamp this this and the inside and then you do some cutting and your card is done so here we go. This is uh, this is all there is. So I'm going to show you the cards one more time. Let me show that. So here we are. And uh, you have plenty of these uh, little gold leaves that you can use to uh, decorate your card fronts so or in even inside 
and uh, and you have a full roll of this gold and um, cherry cobbler gold um, ribbon which is really beautiful so you will have plenty left over um, yeah I hope uh, you enjoy making these cards and uh, let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching